heard a loud noise in the heavens, and the spirit instantly appeared to me and said the serpent was loosened, and Christ had laid down the yoke he had borne for the sins of men, and that I should take it on and fight against the serpent. For the time was fast approaching when the first should be last, and the last should be first. cradle that was forgotten until we had left the house and gone some distance when Henry and Will returned and killed it. Over the next 24 hours, Nat Turner led a small group of slaves from farm to farm, killing every white man, woman, and child they encountered. They gathered guns and more recruits during a brief but bloody revolt that spread terror throughout the slaveholding South. Nat Turner was captured and hanged. In the days before his execution, he agreed to tell his story. But after his death, his words became the property of others, as his body was during his life. His story has been continually retold since 1831. He has been depicted as a great and inspiring hero and vilified as an insane fanatic. Each author possesses Nat Turner, transforming his identity and the meaning of his revolt. Although today we cannot clearly make out the face of the man, he continues to provoke a bitter debate over the violence that he inspired. For a nation unable to come to terms with the legacy of slavery, Nat Turner remains a troublesome property.